Hey, how you doing guys? Uh, I've been uh, thinking about doing this video for a little bit. I've touched on it a time or two. Uh, and I, I said something about it on, in an earlier video uh, about a week ago. How you got started and what do you build and that kind of stuff. Well, this one is the reason why I'm, I, I build and what I build. Uh, these are five cars that my brother had done, plus two small ones here. So, uh, yeah, let's, let's take a look at these. Uh, I'm Paul, and you're look, watching on the Styrene Relics here. So, uh, let's get rolling with this right off the get-go. Uh, these cars, uh, I can remember him building these uh, from 1970 to 72. Uh, he graduated in 72. Uh, there, were, uh, there was a class that he had, or I should say it was an after-school class, and they would build models and stuff, um, and I, he was part of that. I don't know if that was it during this time frame or not. I believe it was. Um, and then there was uh, several of his buddies in the in the neighborhood. They would get together and build as well. So uh, you got to remember, man, this was really big, popular at that time. So pretty cool stuff. I can remember him putting these together. And, uh, and he had taken an old uh, TV, uh, a console TV, and uh, he had gutted it, turned it around, and put shelves inside it. And these used to set, set in there uh, with some others. And uh, while he was gone to work or whatever, because uh, he had an, you know, a job after school, you know, I would sit in there and just look at these things and just think, man, I, I got to build this, you know, I... This is so cool. And, you know, he'd help me out every once in a while on, on some stuff I can remember. And uh, so this is the reason why I build. Uh, and it's and I attribute it to, to him as uh, mostly. Because uh, if he was building semi-trucks, I'd probably be into that more. Uh, I'll, I'd build them, but I mean, I, I you know, it just, that's what intrigued me right at that young age. And I think it's so cool, and I really think it's cool that I'm I get to be the caretaker of these now. Uh, these are the only ones that he had left, and so I'm going to show you uh, a couple of them first, and then I'll do uh, three more in a different video because I just don't want to make this too long. So I really want you to be able to see what you want to see, and and because uh, I I don't want everybody to just uh, get halfway through it and, and then cut out. So <clears throat> let's get started on this right away. Um, this here's the 54 panel. Um, he's used the Leap and Lorry off of the uh, 33 Willys. And I just thought that was so neat just in itself. Um, because I, I kept seeing the model car kit and I'm thinking, yeah, but it goes on the 33. And he says, no, it can go on anything. And so Right off there, right off the bat there, I'm thinking, yeah, he's right, you know, and then it was just little stuff like that. And uh so this one here is 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 it. This is the reason why I do what I do. And I'm so doggone fortunate to have this, and I can look at it and say, this is the reason why I have all of this room is because of this car. <laughs> so I just I just dig that so much. That is so, so cool. And I just wish that you guys had your car that got you going. Because I know everybody has one. I know everybody has that car that's out there that that's one that, that inspired you. And this is it. This is the one that got me going right here. So, I mean, it's nothing spectacular, but you got to remember, I was eight seven eight and nine years old at the time when i'm looking at this thing and i'm thinking that is the coolest thing ever you know <laughs> so this this let's just get started on this thing so i believe a lot of this come off the bad man i know the front spoiler come off the bad man um the front wheels and tires i believe did and there's other things but let me pop the hood off because i know i'm going to lose it so the undercarriage, I believe these are the the uh, traction bars or ladder bars. They come off it. 
I'm not sure what the front end come off of myself. I just don't know. But it's got the chrome straight axle in the front. And uh, it's got the ladder bars. The, the short ladder bars comes off the axle back here. Now you, you, see, you realize they don't come past the rear bumper too much. Uh, that's the way they run them back then. They didn't stick way out here in the back like they do nowadays. Uh, I believe it had to do something with rulings. So, yeah, that's kind of neat. And then the headers, they they come right up. They must be some kind of a dragster header because they're up into the wheel wells. Yeah, I can't get them in there. But, yeah, they turn up right up inside the wheel well. Well, I can do this. You can see them here. So that's kind of neat. And then... Uh, it's got that Offenhauser uh, blower hat, and it's a small block Chevy. And then he had showed me that you could take uh, Mom's thread and use it for spark plug wires. And that's what he'd done there. And that's typed, uh, glued to the uh, magneto back there. And then he's got, you know, some of the decals up on the firewall. Which I thought was really cool because I'm thinking, man, I'd never saw decals on a firewall. And it just it's just little things like that, little subtle things like that that, that I picked up on. And then the back end, you know, that parachute. And here's something kind of cool. Um, I've men made mention of this before. And I know that he's not the only one. There's other guys ahead who have done it. Uh, he used wood putty back here to fill in the, the tail lights. Uh... You know, if you didn't have the money to go out and buy anything else, wood putty was everywhere. And I know he did the headlights, and then the turn signals was that way too. So that's kind of cool. Uh, I would try to show you the inside. He's made a roll cage for it, but it's just not going to show up. I know it's not. So this one, this car in itself is the reason why I'm doing what I do now. And... With his help and him showing me how to do different things is the reason why I kept at it. So I, I owe a lot of what I do uh, because, of, because of him. So let me put that over here and I'll drag on another little gasser. <coughs> Excuse me. This one here is that little pickup truck. Uh, you guys have seen this one quite a bit. Now he's chopped the top on it, um, but the the windshield with the sun visor in that <clears throat> he didn't get it chopped and it got misplaced and uh he's got another one now and i think if i can get it from him i'll chop it down and put it on here for him because he's want been wanting to do that for quite a while um this one has the the hemi setting in it uh nice chrome engine this is really cool looking engine i love that scoop on it and then, you know, he's got the front and end. Now he's got where the headlights were, that you know, filled in. Now those look like they're filled in with that wood putty as well. So, it's kind of cool. He's cut the running boards off it. Cleaned that up. And then what I always thought about this kit was so cool is he's got the, uh, the wrinkle wall slicks. You know how they were flat. Uh, I've got a set of these. I'm missing one backer though, but... I finally got it. Got me a set of those. That's pretty cool. I, I always like those, so I'll end up trying to build something like this as well. So he's got a set of ladder bars on it, and it has a straight axle as well. Um, not sure what that's out of, but yeah, straight axle on it as well. Kind of neat. It's got a four-speed tranny hooked up to it. Looks like so. That's pretty neat. I like that car. That, that truck, that's, that's always been a highlight for me. Uh, like I say, this was bouncing around uh, 70, 71, 72, and a little bit of 1969 as, as well. If I, can, if I remember, I, I think one of these, I think it was the 58 was done in, back then. But yeah, pretty sweet. I like these. And then uh, I'll throw these in here in this one. And then I'll do another video of the others. Uh, now, <laughs> you got to remember now, this, like I said before, this was 
70, 71, 72, all right? Now, he built these little cars here right around 69 and 70. Zingers came out in 71, I believe. Uh, you guys check me out on that, but I, I think it was around 71. So these were done before the Zingers. So uh, I think that is really neat myself. I just really thought that was sweet. Now what we used to do is we'd race uh, slot cars. And this one's a little T-Jet uh, 63 Corvette. And uh, let me get it up here and I'll show you a little bit. It's got the split window. Small block Chevy. And the headers. I got fuzzy dice on there. We've had them on there forever. I don't want to take them off or I'll lose them. But he's got the uh, the T-Jet front wheels and the extended front end. You know, so it sets right. Uh, it's got a four four tires on the back. Uh, this one here is turning white. You know how they do. Sometimes they'll get real old and they'll turn white on you. <clears throat> Excuse me. I guess I could probably clean it up, but I'm just going to leave it. Um, it's got the uh, rear end and a little drive shaft he's made. It's going straight up. That's kind of crazy looking, but it's there. So... Yeah, this one this one's pretty sweet. Um, I I I can remember him building this one, but I don't remember him building this one. Uh, I I just don't remember. I know it's been around forever. I do remember him cutting out the hood and everything for this. And uh, why I say that was because uh, we would he would take a candle and a knife. And he'd heat that knife up, and then he'd melt it, cut that out, you know. And then he'd sand everything down with a, with a little file. And uh, I'm sure that's how he did this one as well. This one I remember because this car, uh, it came in a, a cereal box. You used to get little race cars in a cereal box. Uh, really just little push cars. And uh, I remember this one. Uh, it, I think it's like a Ford Tornado. It's a Ford, I know that. But anyways, it's got the T-Jet front wheels and, uh, and the slicks in the back. Another small block Chevy, and he's cut the hood out on it as well. And heading on to this. It's got uh, a little drive shaft. <laughs> so, and then... Uh, Oh, a little wheelie bar in the back come down so yep yeah. so I've not lied to you guys before but I'm telling you I know that these two little cars were out there before the singers <laughs> so not that it means anything but I think that's just cool myself um, I want to do another video on the three in the back because uh, they really don't fit the gasser thing. Uh, so um, I just want you guys to see what I got a chance to grow up and look at every night before I went to bed. And uh, I, I'm very fortunate to get to, get, to, uh, get to be the caretaker of these. So, All right, guys. Let me uh, set this down and uh, I'll get started on another one here in a little bit. Thanks for stopping by.